Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. This is a love channel for Virgos only, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Hope you all are doing well. If you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Uh, please remember some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. And if you'd like to get a personal reading, there is a link below this video where you can book a reading with me. Okay. So hi everybody in the chat. I hope you guys have been well. Um, sorry for my absence, but let's get right into your reading. Let's see what your love messages are here and what's going on. Okay. This could be the one you've already met the romantic partner that you seek Virgo, but there are blockages, obstacles, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Uh, so there could be some type of differences between you and another person. Um, could be religious, of course, there could be racial differences, um, geographical differences. Um, there could be Um, hmm. strange. So they're saying, um, just like the way you both were brought up could be very different. Um, one, it might feel maybe at times like one person from the other side of the tracks, quote unquote. Um, raised differently, economic differences. Okay, so let me see what else is going on here. Okay, but there's chemistry, a strong magnetic attraction. Okay, I don't know who this person is, Virgo, but very strong attraction to somebody or somebody has a very strong attraction to you. They feel like you are the one for them, Virgo, even though there are differences. Um, if this person may have been seeking to find their other half, um, and not even notice that it was you the whole time and actually coming to terms with the fact that you were the one for them the whole time. All right, let's take a look and see what other energies there are playing out here, Virgo. Okay. Ten of swords. So there is a sense of surrender happening here with the ten of swords. Um, so there may be a feeling of like something ending or somebody hitting rock bottom at this time, giving up, not fighting anymore. Um, kind of feels like, yeah, just surrender, a healing, a connection or healing is happening, recovery in a lot of ways. Somebody might be um, recovering from an addiction. They've surrendered. They're giving that up. Um, if there was someone that there was a connection, that you had a connection to someone that had some type of um, an addiction and they've hit rock bottom with that or just kind of in other areas of their life, um, healing from a past breakup or um, a past relationship. I feel like there's somebody here who's in a prayerful state or they're meditating a lot. They're retreating. There's an energy of like renewal, renewal mm -hmm. of the mind. Um, maybe some, <laughs> you just told me brainwashing um, or somebody's like getting a brain cleanse <laughs> or cleansing in some way. All right, let me, oh, okay. So they just flipped out two cards, oh, three cards here. Okay, so Queen of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Justice, and the Emperor. Okay. Hmm. Okay, the Queen of Wands, this is taking some bold steps here. So there's an energy here of someone um, very feisty, but really self-assured and confident in themselves at this time. And I'm also picking up somebody doing the right thing. Um, there's an emperor energy here. So taking the lead in making something right or having some kind of win-win outcome, win-win situation, fairness. Okay. Justice being served. This is like good karma 
happening here. Let's see what else is going on. Okay, the lovers. Hmm. Well, Virgo, it seems to me like there's some type of deep partnership here that's either somebody new coming in or this person, maybe you already know them or they already know you. This is like, you know, this somebody's coming to terms with like you are it for them. You are the only one. We have Gemini energy here as well. Um, I kind of, it just kind of gives me a sense, like if there was a breakup, there's a sense of reconciliation or some kind of, if there was a divorce or arguments or um, there may be regret, regret about, uh, someone might have regret about not making something happen sooner. And I feel like this person, because it's a six, this person, it's like finally appreciating you somebody's appreciating you um, taking responsibility for their behavior in the in the past or just their behaviors in the past when it came to deep intimate relationships um, I feel Virgo this person um, is trying to been, bring harmony and balance into this relationship there's an element of self-sacrifice willing to you know cut their leg off below the knee and hand it to you and say hey i'll limp for you for life that kind of energy is coming in here okay we also have libra and aries so we have the death card here scorpionic energy so something is coming to an end there's a transformation happening with someone here okay no more stagnation uh, no more sense of inertia or hopes being destroyed or feeling stuck. This is like actually transforming a situation, transforming themselves. Um, somebody might be reborn again, maybe in a religious way or um, just kind of like reborn spiritually. Somebody might be going through this like a spiritual transformation at this time. Okay, all this major arcana energy, you know, these are when you get major arcana cards, like these are the cards that speak volumes because this is like the effect of what's happening to someone and their will. Um, what they have control over is that they're surrendering and they're, they're coming into a place of peace and contentment and feeling settled. You know, um, this person in the past might have been in this place of in, uh, restlessness. Um, they may have been ready to act, but never actually took any action with you. I feel like somebody here is taking action. Now, for some of you, I know this doesn't have to be your past person, like the person you're done with. This could be... Um, Another person who may have had their eye on you or someone that you're friends with or that you maybe you know or they just kind of know something about you. Um, they This person may be actually coming forward to see if there's more here in this connection because there's a sense of chemistry. This person is very um, magnetized by you, very strong magnetic attraction to you this chemistry with this person and it could be a very past person yeah so there's communication um, somebody might be asking you out on a date or sending you sweet text messages or phone calls um, and this reading will be for December so you're going to be hearing from somebody I don't feel like it's anything real heavy it's page of um cup energy so it's kind of like it's new like a new feeling of love this person volunteers to reach out they initiate okay um but it's it's a it's like an emotional message it might be an apology it could be like um somebody sends you a picture of something could be like um, a meme um could for some could be a picture of a fish <laughs> It could be a selfie. Um, there's just some type of a reach out, I feel, that's coming here. Like I said, there could be an apology coming from someone in December. Okay. 
so seven of one energy you know it's interesting because sevens do re does represent spirituality and inner awareness like mastering the spiritual self or the spiritual lesson and i feel like as i said that before someone may be having some kind of an awakening and surrendering to a higher power um, there's wisdom there's insight with this person and success and the energy what i feel is coming through here is that this person's in a position of like um defender of the realm <laughs> that's what it feels like like standing taking the high ground that's what it feels like this person is going to take the high ground the moral high ground when it comes to you and for them that means doing the right thing making something right with you cause and effect a win-win solution and telling the truth okay coming out and telling the truth this is like a very protective energy and it's sitting on the lover's card so it gives me a sense that this person wants to try to protect your connection protect their heart um, and protect your heart so it's beautiful it's major major change happening here with somebody okay so nine of cups energy this is completion here this is like an accomplishment you know um this is an element of understanding something in a new way you know this person feels they want to indulge in you you are a wish come true for them okay um it feels like when this person thinks of you or when they're around you like they become gluttonous you know they become like in this energy where they just want to they just want to be happy this person when they were younger they may have had like a lot of trophies um maybe they were an athlete or they competed in something when they were younger. Um, now maybe they're a little more stout. They don't do that anymore. They still have other trophies, but they're a little more like, I don't know, they eat, you know, pizza and <laughs> wings and they, they eat candy a lot more, drink a lot of soda. Maybe they've put on a little few extra pounds of some sort. Um, or they might have been very accomplished in their past. They've received awards or diplomas or degrees, and that stuff's like in a case or hanging on the wall. And now, you know, they're a bit more portly and more settled. Okay. Um, if they were drinking a lot or they had some type of an addiction and they're recovering from that addiction, um, they are, at, you know, some people when they stop drinking alcohol or when they stop um, abusing drugs, they, they get healthier and they start putting weight back on their body. That energy, I feel, is a specific message that's coming out about somebody here. Oh, wow. Ace of Cups. So there's a potential new love beginning here with somebody. You know, um, this person may wish to have a child with you um, for some and for others. Um, a, a, a new relationship start up with you there could even be a proposal of marriage it's just like um this is like a gift coming down okay from up above this is grace um this is it's a one so there's initiation i feel like somebody's going to take the lead and initiate a new love uh start with you um whether it's a past relationship and there's a recommitment to new love or it's somebody that you've known that feels that you could, you know, you're the one for them. Um, this is like, this is like um, having uh, courage. Um, the self-courage is what I feel like. This person gaining this willpower, it's the willpower that's coming to you. Okay, it's their desire to um have like a they're, they're going to initiate they're definitely going to initiate um maybe even make a proposal to you of some sort like a love proposal it doesn't have to be marriage it could just be commitment or just to become exclusive they may even tell you that there's no interest that they have in anybody else at this point um like you are it for them okay and then chariot energy so that's cancer so chariot energy i feel like with this person is like 
plugging in the destination and coming towards you. Um, this person, you know, is ready to make change here. They're taking action to make changes in this connection with you. Um, they might be traveling. Um, they might be, if you're at a distance, there may be an invite to visit them around the holidays or, or they may ask if they can visit you. Um, even if you guys are close, there may be asking if you would like to go have a drink or something for the holidays or just get together around this time period. I'm definitely seeing movement here and travel. Um, okay. Uh, for some of you, for some of you, this person, okay, little, little side note here. This person may be coming from Africa. You may have been waiting for this person to come, but there may be some restrictions where they can't. Okay. Um, but I'm also feeling like this person is look, I'm um, somebody's looking at a map or they're trying to Look at the distance to see how far. It may also be like an offer to travel together, um, but I kind of feel like waiting to get some information in regard to travel restrictions. Um, so there may be a little bit of a delay, um, but with this being a three card, this kind of feels like this person, um, there might be three people involved in this decision being made. It could have something to do with a third party. It doesn't, I don't mean third party as in, um, I mean, for some of you, this person could have a significant other and you guys are getting together. For others, this could be a third party as in there's children involved or there could be a work situation that needs to be finished or there could be a family situation. Um, that uh, is playing a role in this, okay? So I feel like this, somebody, it kind of feels, it doesn't feel like a crossroads. It's like, I feel like it gets put out there and then waiting for an answer. So this person could be, for some, I see them inviting or asking about, you know, um, visiting. Okay, or inviting out to inviting out somewhere, waiting to hear back from you. Some of you, I don't know if you're going to respond or not. You might, you might hold off. You might wait a little bit, or you might just try to research something. I feel. Okay, Aquarian energy, so much major arcana. So you have a star here. So for some of you, this person could be in the public eye. Um, some of you might be in the public eye. Um, but there's an inner, uh, like there's an, this just feels like, oh my God, it's a freaking miracle. <laughs> Somebody's like, oh my God, that is a freaking miracle. Um, some of you are going to be a little bit surprised to hear from this person. Okay. Or to hear what they have to say, especially if it's not somebody you've been interested in ever and you know about them this might come as a little bit of a surprise to you like maybe some of you have wished you really like this person but something kept you and them apart and um it's kind of like wow oh my gosh i cannot even believe that happened you know this is for some of you it's like a christmas wish this is wishes being made it, it's funny how the star i put it right here on the nine of cups those are both wish cards so there's definitely an energy of like a wish is coming true here there's a renewal of hope in the heart in this person um i feel like they're getting some really serious inner clarity um and are having faith about the connection about you Okay, they have a tremendous amount of faith, actually, that something could occur here between the two of you. Um, for some people, for some of you, this person, um, they, it feels like, I don't know if they work where they're, um, I just heard like they do something where they're always like what maybe watering plants or 
or somebody might be watering a plant listening to this. Okay, it's just a weird message here. Um, no, they're just giving me um, December 8th. They just, I just heard December 8th, and I don't know what that is supposed to mean, but I just heard December 8th, okay. Okay, so we have the Seven of Cups energy. I feel like this person is sitting in this position here where they're kind of like looking at maybe... I feel like some of you ghosted this person and this is really inspiring them to connect with you or and if that's not the case this person is just really curious about you like it feels like everything else in there this person might have a snake i just heard um somebody is the year of the dragon um they might work with gems or somebody works with gems gemstones or crystals or jewelry somebody may be in real estate or is a makeup artist or cosmetologist um and somebody's from rome or there's a connection to rome italy um something happened on halloween as well but what i'm really picking up here is this person you know there's an energy of like really trying to they feel like this person was wondering if maybe you were playing games with them. I have to put that out there. Okay. There is this curiosity thinking them, but they were intrigued by, I don't know if somebody was playing games or what was going on, but this person seems to have this energy of being intrigued by what the heck am I stepping on? Somebody's intrigued by something by you. Um, it's kind of like you are, it's like you're there, but you're not there. They see you in their, in their dreams all the time. Um, so yeah, they're just giving me like this dream state, like you're there in their dreams and you're dressed and everything in the room is very clear or everything that surrounds them the environment is very clear except for your face they can't they're having they, they can't i don't know if they can't see your face anymore they can't see your face and they want to see your face virgo <laughs> this person is having like even in their dreams it's like they know your presence is there in their dreams but it's like you're without a face this person For some of you, it's, I feel like a lot of you are just like, you know, ta-da, I'm here, but you, but you can't see me. You can't see me. Little John Cena going on there. You can't see me. <laughs> like you're, some of you might be faking that, faking people out or you're faking somebody out. Um, well, maybe you're not. And they just think that you are. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah, they were giving me again inner awareness. So that's like inner, like in the dream state. Um, but this person is also looking at um, how everything in their life is pretty much solid at this point where they're at now. Like they're pretty sure, you know, um, of the people around them. They're they're positive about, you know. They feel secure in all areas of their life except for with you. There's there's a lack here. There's something missing. And because of that, they're on their way to find out towards you. Okay? Knight of Swords energy here. Um, ready to make some kind of lifestyle change. That's what I feel like is going on here. A lot of communication coming in from this person, Virgo. Now we've got Piscean energy. I mean, these cards, seriously, this is just like some kind of seeing things from a, a different point of view. I feel like this person in the past was clouded. They were confused. They, In the past, there might have been like some nightmares or they had maybe some depression. Um, they may have had a lot of anxiety or some grief maybe about someone from their past or just your relationship in general. And 
I feel like with that Ten of Swords energy, this person's like, boom. They just hit rock bottom with everything in their life. Um, I feel like you were there the whole time and they just didn't see you. They just didn't see you. In fact, they, they never really could see you. Okay, you were always kind of a mystery to them. They really couldn't see you, Virgo. And and there's there's they know that you're the one, but now they want to see you. This person wants to talk to you. They want to see your face. You've always been a bit of a mystery to them. You know, um, they were never too sure about you. They weren't too sure about themselves. Um, and it feels like things are changing here, and they're taking some very bold steps towards you so with the hangman energy here okay there's duality happening here okay this person has been very quite reflective um look at the glow behind the head there okay um this is definitely some kind of a spiritual awakening this person is seeing things in a way they've never seen things before and they're seeing you in a way they've never seen you before it's almost like a light bulb went off you know um, maybe for a long time the lights are on and nobody was home with this person they were just out to lunch but it feels like they've finally come into the home and the lights are on and now i just heard they can you know they're seeing things clearly um something happened to this person like i said they've hit rock bottom and i don't know what triggered this i'm not too sure what's caused this person to go in this direction here but i can definitely tell you that this energy is happening there is an energy again of self-sacrifice this person's just has a totally different perspective on everything and you know what i feel like this person has their fingers crossed behind their their back before they're messaging you or reaching out to you, hoping they're like, oh, please let Virgo answer. Please let Virgo accept me. Please don't let Virgo reject me. That's what I'm just getting. I see this person's got their fingers crossed behind their back. I mean, I don't know who does that. Does I don't know who does that? If people still do that, or maybe not behind their back, but just like, you know, calling like dialing your number and then. Oh, let her go answer. <laughs> Are some of you not communicating with this person? I don't know what's going on. Some of you might not be. Like I said, um, this person's taking a big leap of faith here. They're taking a leap of faith, okay? This person might have been quite unprepared to be in any kind of committed relationship with you in the past. Something kept them from um, being with you. They may have they may have displayed uh, apathy or they were careless with your heart or with you. Um, they may have been absent a lot. And now it feels like there's a huge shift because they finally surrender. They surrender here to something and they take this chance with you. Okay, ready to go on this new journey. This person has like such a crush and they're so smitten with you virgo mm. this person <laughs> they were i feel like this you light something up you inspire something in this person i feel like they were quite bored they maybe they had a fear of being bored in relationships or things not staying hot and heavy um, or maybe they were bored just in general in their life. They might be like coming through as a thrill seeker here with the Page of Wands. <clears throat> I feel like this person had an energy of immaturity. There's a grow up here happening. <laughs> There's definitely like... Uh, like a leveling up happening here with this person and towards you it feels to me like they they're very smitten with you like you light some kind of fire under them so there, there's communication here about doing something together okay doing some type of an activity or working on a project of some sort or a creative idea there's there's some type of communication here about um they want to oh they just said um they're get, they'll tell you they want to grow old with you, Virgo. You're it for them. 
they want they want you both to grow old together okay all right so nine ones this person okay It's weird because I have the devil here. I just saw this card. So this kind of feels to me like this person's in this position here where they've been thinking about their addictions and the things that they've been through. I mean, really reflecting a lot on how they just were not reciprocal with you. They weren't able to give to you um, because they were indebted to, to the devil in whatever way that is um you know one person can't serve two masters you know you either serve love which is god or higher power or you serve the devil you can't serve them both at the same time this person was not able to give love to you okay because they were busy serving uh, their demon side the side that does had um like their claw its claws in them okay they were chained and trapped um and in, if you were in a relationship with this person in the past, it left you quite sullen and sad because while they were chain, chaining themselves to you with their um, devilish ways, you were being affected by this while they were distracted by other things. You know, that's what that devil energy does. It's like, it's like the father of lies, the devil um, it just wreaks havoc. In relationships here right so even though you felt that strong bond it may have been karmic with this person um, because you got chained to this person so do you see how this one here is looking in this direction looking out here okay yeah I'm with you but I'm looking at others at the same time and for those of you um, who were with this person who was you know, uh, if you were involved with a female, um, you know, I know right here, this is, um, we're not doing same sex here, but I want you to switch it up if you need to. Okay. So one person was just very sad and always like melancholy and depressed. And, and, and another person was always looking out by distractions, you know, shiny things or other people, even though you both were bound together it was karmic it, it was very karmic and that devil energy all the time um it could have been just sexual uh, it was very sexual based for a lot of you if this is your past person um if not this is somebody that you know their past was ruled by sex they would get into relationships based on lust okay and things would always, they would always get into toxic relationships because they, they would start on lust, you know, and then they got fooled into thinking, you know, lust is the devil's work, okay? I feel like this person, they're, they're smittenness in a crush, but they're also being quite careful that they don't let that destroy the relationship. This person does not want to come in um, and give you the impression that they only want you know to have intimacy with you and nothing else so it feels like they're coming in with more of a soul thing here okay um now if this is your past person you know i know a lot of you are like well i don't want this person okay um i'm not really here to say really which it is um this could also be somebody new, right? Or someone that's just in your your periphery, okay? That had similar situation as your past person, all right? Um, again, if a, if a past, you know, shows up here, then we will. But I have to touch on both, okay? So for some of you, all right. So King of Wands, Queen of Wands, we have fire energy, energy. This is feistiness. This is boldness, charm, courage, passion, confidence, you know, you name it. Okay. So we have two, the only two court cards here, we have um, the King and the Queen of Wands. So there is a match here. Now, let me take a look and see. 
okay? There's a golden opportunity coming your way. This person, I'm telling you, the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, a big new promotion. This person's coming in to invest fully. I feel like for a lot of you, if this is your past person, I feel like for a lot of you, you're going to just be very surprised and shocked. Like this is a freaking miracle. This person's going through some real deep soul transformation. Okay. Yeah. Very positive energy. We have Leo here and Scorpionic energy. So we also have, I'm telling you, like <sighs> rebuilding. Everything fell apart destroying everything in the past that was and starting over in a clean slate in a very positive way that sun shining induces new gro growth and new playful energy happening here okay the end of the struggle okay like i said you're going to be surprised when this person reaches out to you it's not just um yeah it's going to be something sweet to start but it further on this person may be telling you look i'm ready to make this change with you i've already begun implementing changes in my life i want to be your hero or your your heroette <laughs> or whatever right so i do feel like this person just wants to win you over as best as possible as much as they can in whatever way they can okay so yeah there is reconciliation here again we have scorpio energy so Wow, Virgo. I want to bring the family back together, the children, everything and everyone. Let's take a look and see what your moon pie messages are. Okay. Haste, speed, and travel. Yep, this person is coming in, like I said, very, very quick. They're coming towards you, Virgo. Okay, coming from a distance. Manifestation, lay all your cards on the table. Don't be afraid. Use every tool in your arsenal to create and manifest this journey. As it is above and below, so it will be here. And that's what I feel like this person is doing. They're trying to manifest this new beginning, and they're going to do it quickly. For some reason... This person is surrendering and coming to terms like they got to act now or it's done forever. Done forever. Struggle, challenge, and competition. So this person is, is you know, it may seem like a game to you, but I feel like this person will be trying to compete for your affection. Really going to try to win and to win you over and win you back. Okay, and for those of somebody new is really going to try to compete with others to have your hand, okay, to hold your hand, to be with you, to spend time with you. Um, okay, waiting for answers to be revealed. And I feel like that's what's happening here. As I was saying, this person may reach out and make some type of proposal or offer and will be waiting for you to respond. Okay, okay. Um, Trust your intuition. The answer lies deep within. Trust spirit. Wait for answers to be revealed. Yeah. And this person standing their ground, I'm telling you, we saw that right in the beginning. This person is going to like stand tall, take the high ground, take the high road here with you. I don't know. There's some type of courage coming to them when it comes to you. Something that you've never experienced from anybody in your life your past person or somebody knew the way they would fight for you for a committed love relationship with you that's what i was saying like somebody here is ready to really go the distance and go the distance they will future plans this person's choosing the path and the path is you I don't know. I just kept hearing December 8th. That may not resonate for all of you, but something about December 8th is really sticking out here. All right, let's get some messages of love. Oracle cards. So we have an eclipse coming. Is there another eclipse or a full um, a full moon? I got to get one of those calendars that has a moon on it. The moon uh, cycle so I can see. I wonder where I could get one. If anyone's ever heard of a place where you can get... A calendar for each day showing 
what cycle the moon is in or what sign, please leave me a, a comment here and let me know. Okay, what was popping out? Play hard, find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. Passion, try something you've never done before, Virgo. One person may be giving too much in this relationship. It's not you. It's going to be this person. They're going to be over giving. That's why I feel like some of you are going to be surprised because either you've never experienced this with anyone before or with this one particular person. Okay, friendship is leading to more. Okay, for some of you, this is a friend who does come to terms with the fact that you are the one for them. Okay, but firm boundaries are going to be needed right now. Now, for some of you, like I said, boundaries against any kind of lustful situation or something that could possibly turn toxic. So be careful with that. Okay, here you go. This could go either way for you guys. New love. Okay, a new love or recommitment to love is developing so that you guys are just going to have to wait and see how this plays out because it's it could be either one. Some of you have not fully healed from a toxic connection in the past and you have someone new coming in and you're scared to death that it's going to be this, a repeat cycle. Okay. Um, and that's why I feel like I'm having a hard time picking up from some of you. I could be picking up both. For some, of you, for some, I'm picking up your past person that you, um, the energy from you, is your past person, and others, it's, uh, and also it's the new start, new love with someone. Okay, and that's why I'm not able to really pinpoint which it is. It could be both. Let's see. Mastery. Okay. This person has learned the spiritual lesson and you guys have too. And this is what I was saying in the very beginning. Remember I kept saying, um, the number seven, I kept bringing that up seven spirituality and inner awareness and mastery, spiritual, um, mastery happening here. A true master is one who masters themselves. That's a, that's a, I think that's a, a Lao, a, a Lao Tzu, Lao Tzu, Lao Tzu quote. Let's see what else here. What other messages for your past person? I wish things could be different. I feel you even though we are apart. I want to feel this way again. I love you. I feel you leaving me behind and I'm becoming a better person. I did leave you before you could leave me, and I've spent this whole time replaying our conversations over and over since we've been apart. We will be together again. So I do feel like this person wants to come back into your life. And of course, like you, you know, you guys always say, you have free will. Don't get mad at me. I'm just giving the message. You don't have to take somebody back if you don't want to take them back. Okay? I'm just here for the give the messages. All right, let's get your dates and names and see what I pick up here today. Okay. Okay, somebody's knee, there's a letter M. I'm picking up the letter M and the 15th. <clears throat> okay, the letter J. I just heard Jenny or Jennifer. I'm also picking up the 20th. Okay. Um, you know what? Someone has a K. There's a letter K. We have a G. I'm hearing, all right, they're just telling me Jerry, a J E R R Y or G, G, G E R R Y or I, Jerry, Geraldine, Jeremiah, uh, Jer, J, Jermaine, someone's from Germany. <laughs> okay, somebody is Mimi, M I M I. Okay, um, 
somebody is 33 or will be 33 or just got done being 33 or there's a 33 okay oh Somebody, okay, they're just saying somebody's coming in to ask you a question. For some of you, the communication that you get from someone, the first communication you get from them will be in the form of a question, asking you something. Asking you a question. Okay. We have a C, and I'm also picking up, oh, there's a letter 8 again. Somebody's 38. Um, and also somebody was born March and also 1983. Okay. Um, I'm hearing an, um, so country code could be number 10 um, or 01. And I'm also hearing like an area code 810. And I'm also, or it could be 810 or 310. I can't make out if that's a 3 or an 8. It's either 310 or 810. Okay. Um, somebody's name is Nick. Nikki or Nicholas could be old Saint Nick. Okay. Oh, there's a letter S as well. And um, they're also giving me the word freedom. Oh, they're saying freedom to travel. I don't know what that means. Freedom to travel. Okay. I'm getting... Okay. 33578. Three, okay. Um, somebody... Okay. Somebody maybe was a tar is a Taurus. Born in the month of May. Um, and then I'm also getting, uh, the year of the snake. <laughs> they just gave me the year of the snake, which I think is 19. I think it's the last thing I know is like, I'm not sure. And I'm also picking up, um, year of the horse, the horse. So whenever your birthday is. Or what year you were born. Okay. Uh, they're giving me June 20th as well. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. They keep giving me the same messages here. <clears throat> really specific they're saying again Jennifer or Jen and or Jenny um, they're saying Jenny that person is your king <laughs> they said Jenny that person is your king yep they're giving me the same messages over and, and over again um, that person is your king but it's specific to like the names that I called out, especially Jenny. I keep getting Jenny. All right, let's work on and get some of your charms to see what your charm messages are here. Hope you all are doing well. Sorry I've been so absent. I've just had so much going on with the holidays. And then I had a wedding that I attended. 
over the weekend and just family stuff it's just been december is always a festive time for me with family and friends and i i sometimes i'm just absolutely exhausted and um i actually you guys just so you know um the last two weeks of december i've um i'm taking a break from personal readings so i can enjoy my holiday time with everybody and um so if you want to get a reading book it like start booking it up now because i do have some slots before i go on vacation and then i'm not going to be back till after january but i am going to be getting my second shot so to speak so i'll probably need a couple of days to myself all right let's get some charms okay didn't i say king here we have a crown okay we have a crown here we also have a ship's wheel and a key um somebody's getting key to a brand so some brand new wheels for the holidays and then we also have um what the hell's this Oh, it's an octopus. Or maybe you like to eat octopus or somebody eats octopus. Huh, or somebody definitely wants to get their tentacles all over you in December, Virgo. Somebody is definitely wanting to get their tentacles on you. Okay, could be like a trip. Uh, you might actually be getting uh going on like a sea i don't know it's like a sea like a maybe you're going scuba diving or going on a trip in this to, to to the sea like out into the ocean or something you're gonna be on a, a, a or somebody invites you on their boat in december i mean i hope it's in a warm place <laughs> Oh, this feels like Neptune. Could be a Pisces. It just gave me Neptune. Let's see what other messages you have here. Okay, we've got a sea turtle and a dolphin. Okay, so we have an octopus, a sea turtle, and a dolphin. Um, these are really special messages here. Something to do, even like a, sh a captain's wheel, a ship. Um, we also have like a mask. Interesting. And namaste. And the, oh gosh. It's a pendant with like this little doggy. What is this dog called? Um, darn it, let me think. Is it a Shetland sheepdog or? It's like one of those long, kind of long fur little dogs with, they look like they have beards on them. I don't know if you guys can see that. It looked like, I don't know what they're called. I said Shetland Sheepdog. That not, might not be what it is. Um, it's kind of like a, a pendant with a dog, or maybe you have a, a, a pet like that. Um, or you have, somebody lost their dog and there's like a memorial for their dog or some type of pendant or something that, that somebody wears with like a picture of their animal, their pet, um, or as a gift that's being given for the holidays as well. You have the star, now look, some of you, I said the other day in one of my readings about a white star, and now we have a gold star, okay? So I feel like whoever did the white star, you might, maybe you have a gold star somewhere in your house, or there's something to do with like a gold star restaurant or a gold star family, which could represent like military. Um, there might be like remembrance or something or uh, something along those lines. This is also a star with a marquee. Somebody could be working in theater or in the movies. Uh, somebody, I just want you to know, if you're a Dallas Cowboys fan, um listening this message is specifically for you that's for sure um also i'm hearing uh a, someone's getting a, like their stars and stripes like something with military i'm hearing that as well now this mask 
oh, somebody designs masks maybe or tiaras or something like that. Um, hmm. I don't feel like somebody's masking or anything. Maybe you're reading a book. You might be reading a book on people who are ma people who mask, like a masquerade. People who people who kind of show up with that like um, false mask. Maybe you're reading self help, or you're going to school, or doing some kind of psychology training of some sort, or something along those lines. So, and then Namaste. So uh, somebody might say that a lot, or you have a pendant, or that's somewhere you have, like, you post that on social media. Um, for someone here, this is your word. Like, you use that word all the time. And if that's you, then, yes, this is your message for sure. But I'm really picking up the energy of the sea. I'm picking up Pisces. Um, and I'm picking, going, I'm picking up going maybe on a cruise or on a boat. Um for some or maybe you live by the sea somebody's parents live by the sea and they have like captain's chairs in their home or they have like a a ship wheel on in their home somewhere oh and then i also heard okay um be careful of oh gosh this is so crazy to say um take care that's it okay i got the message here take care um, with the virus that's out here now, okay, um, this mask is, they're telling me now, make sure that if you're out or whatever you're doing, make sure that you're masked up if you need to be, okay, um, for someone. Now, this mask is over the eyes and the nose, but it's symbolic. If you have to go somewhere, um, especially around the holidays, you know, uh, for those of you who believe in it, you know, I know there's a lot of naysayers out there um that's your message to make sure that you wear a mask because the ship's wheel kind of looks like that virus a little bit so just be careful um if you're connecting with anyone make sure that you're being careful um that you are being um preemptive that you stay healthy throughout the rest of december because we know the holiday season and you know in cold areas and things like that um it's flu season and what happens um is anybody's guess this time where there's like a new virus and all that going around so just you know or a new variant just be very careful with that you hold the key virgo to your health to your sanity you're the only one who can unlock the doors to better living you have the key no one else can do this for you you just got to find the key some of you just forgot where the fuck you put it some of you just lost your keys again go look for your keys um if you lost your keys some of you might not even know you lost your keys so you may have lost them go look for them because i know you're going to be like going out to the car and you're like damn where's my keys and you remember my video all right you guys so that was fun i'm gonna end it here doing my best to upload every night again as much as i can throughout this month so please bear with me uh i'm sure you know if if you don't hear me or you don't see me please understand everything's okay um I'm probably just exhausted at times. The winter is hard because sometimes I just get very drained physically and I just some days just need to lay down and rest, okay? Um, so I will leave you there with your reading. Thanks everyone for being here and hanging out and I will see you all very soon. Okay, you guys, love you. Bye.